Dear Earthlings, we have a special message from you from the planet Arrakis, which you know as the planet Doom. As you can see from our world, we are a desolate, barren, sandy desert. But we are enriched by spice, the agent that can enhance and expand awareness throughout the universe. While we are rich in spice, we are very poor in water. And water is critical to life. Water is the solvent of which all life molecules exist in. Water is an essential element. Water is what all cells are made out of. 60 to 70% of a cell is water. Things like DNA, proteins, polysaccharides, the molecules of life are dissolved in this water. Every one of these molecules is surrounded by a sleeve of water. All the molecules in the cell are coated with a sheath of water. So when molecules in life, such as those responsible for metabolism or those responsible for genetics, when those molecules interact, they don't interact directly, they interact through the water that is connecting them. And what makes this connection possible is something called hydrogen bonds. Now, you're familiar with chemical bonds that are called covalent bonds. Those are the ones where the chemicals presumably plug into each other like puzzle pieces. Hydrogen bonds are a different form of communication. Hydrogen bonds are energy bonds based on positive and negative spheres of energy coming together. Well, let me give you an insight to an understanding of a water molecule. Water molecules are comprised of one oxygen and two hydrogen atoms. The water molecules that hold all of life together are shaped like a boomerang. That in the center of this boomerang are oxygen atoms. And at each tip of the boomerang are hydrogen atoms. So if we want to see what the charges of a water molecule look like, then look at our boomerang now. What we have in the center is the oxygen molecule, which is very negatively charged. And at each end of this boomerang are the hydrogen molecules, which are very positively charged. So when you look in water and you see water as a fluid, recognize this, inside that fluid, there are liquid crystals where the hydrogens and oxygens of adjacent water molecules come together in a hydrogen bond. And it's through the hydrogen bond that the communication of biomolecules occur. A protein does not touch DNA. A protein is surrounded by water. DNA is surrounded by water. But for them to communicate, the information has to go through the water molecules, through the electric bonds, the hydrogen bonds. So here's a very important fact of life. The biology that you live with on planet Earth is mediated by water. Everything has to have water to live. The water is the connector of all biological life and provides for metabolism and genetic activity of the cell. So when Earthlings are looking for a place to go after they destroy their planet, what are they looking for? Another planet, but a planet that has water on it because water is the medium of life. Look at our planet Arrakis, which you Earthlings call Dune. We are a barren desert of sand. Water is the most precious commodity of life on this planet. And you must start to recognize that on your own planet, are you conserving the water? Are you keeping the water available for life? Or are you contaminating the water, polluting the water? And believe me, we also understand from our perspective what is the consequence of losing your water? You lose your life. Water is the essence from which all life springs. And the significance of this is water not just gives us life, but water can tell us about life. If you drop a rock into a pond, when the rock hits the water, the energy of the falling rock is translated into the water. Now, energy is invisible, but energy has a force. When that energy of the falling rock hits the water, the force of the water shapes the water into ripples or waves. Now, an interesting aspect about this in your story of life is that waves interact with each other. It's called entanglement. And waves have no border like physical things that you observe with an edge to it. Waves are just continuous. And all the waves of all the things on your planet are actually entangled together. The once believed idea that an atom was physical was taken apart. At first, it was just thought to be the equivalent of a sand grain and that there were different versions of atoms and you mix them in a recipe and you make life. But then, around 1895, 
they found that an atom isn't a solid sand grade inside. There are smaller things, protons, electrons, neutrons. Yes, these are small particles that are making up atoms. But by 1927, when quantum physics came into our reality, it was recognized a very important fact. Those particles, protons, neutrons, and electrons, are actually made out of energy. Everything that you see as matter is energy, and everything that's energy has waves to it, and everything that has waves entangle. For example, look at this video. What you are seeing is a pond, and rain is falling on that pond. And each raindrop, when it hits the surface, actually makes a series of ripples. The point that is so important in this video is this. All the ripples are entangled. There's no place in that entire pond where there's only one set of ripples connected to nothing else. That there is no such thing as an isolated piece of energy in the universe. This becomes important for you to understand that you are energy. You are connected to the universe. Everything is a unity in the universe. And all of this connectivity in your biological world is the result of the hydrogen bonds of water. So you can see that you're an entangled part of the universe. Everything is entangled. But the mediator is water. And if you start to look at what you are doing to the water on your planet, starting to make it actually useless, putting so many pollutants into the water, you even use water for fracking to expel natural gas from the planet. But when you use that water, what do you do? You throw toxic chemicals into it. So all that water that you're using and throwing into the ground with toxic chemicals is no longer available for your biological reality. You're wasting your water, destroying your water. And we here on Dune can tell you from our personal life experiences, water is vital to life. You waste your water, you waste life. And planet Earth is in a crisis of evolution right now because the people of planet Earth have been destroying the environment from which they come. And what holds that environment together? Water. And when the water is gone, there is no more environment and there are no more people. So the message that we can offer you where we live, we need every drop of water because it's vital to our existence. Maybe you can understand now what your purpose is in the next few years to garden the garden, to take care of the garden, clean it up and take care of the water because a garden does not grow without water. We Fremen living in this barren, desolate land come together in community because it's community where we get our power and our strength to live. And what we're trying to get you to understand, humans, is that you must start to come together in community as well, a community to support each other, but more importantly, to support the environment and especially the water that nourishes it.